story in my life Searching for the right But it keeps avoiding me so Hey guys, it's Ray soul, at our voiceoverguide.com And another quick really tutorial for you here with Adobe Audition 3.0 uh, and uh, one of the requests that I got from one of the last videos I did is about some of the effects that I use uh, and where I buy them, where I get them, uh, and all that good stuff. So actually, we're going to show you one of the hidden uh, areas of Adobe Audition that most people uh, don't play around with but thought that it may be of some interest for you. Uh, so let me play this uh, quick spot for you, and then I'll get into what we're going to play. So... Uh... <laughs> It's the drop off. Drop off. With DJ C Foot, DJ C Foot, and Ezra, and Ezra Simmons. Simmons. On your side, your sound. 89.9. KWAR. Alright, uh, that was KWAR. Um, and uh, some uh, fantastic producers that I work with out on the West Coast. So uh, just putting a spot together for their show. And one of the things that we're going to kind of just show you right now is this little spot right here. I'll solo the track just so you can hear what we're going to play around with today. That's it. Did you catch it? We'll do it again. Kind of that dial tone effect. And you'll hear that listening to your local radio station where you hear the numbers, numbers dialed in. Now, mind you, you can go to Google and you can find all these effects. Um, well, what we're going to do is we're actually going to create that today using Adobe Audition uh, 3.0. And I'll even show you how to play and make some of your own sound effects as well, which is kind of a neat thing that most people don't use this program for. But it is available and uh, I thought it was worth uh, showing you. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that again. Here it is. Just that dial tone. One of the things that I'll show you real quick, um, once you start doing this and you start putting more and more of these things together, you'll start to build libraries uh, of different effects, uh, no matter what they are. Um, here's one that I purchased uh, from a good friend of mine. Um, you know, it's got a bunch of beds. Cool stuff like that. It's got effects. Cool things like that. Even vocal drops. These are always useful if you're doing any kind of radio imaging. Peace on earth. Goodwill toward men. They're really funny in the morning. I'd say this is a stage one. I can't go on. Yeah, baby. Oh, right. It it's all about rhythm. This is pure exploitation. I want to find out what's happening. So good stuff like that. Uh, what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and go to a new session. Uh, our sample rate's 44.1. All right. So we've started a new track. Now we want to make ringtones. And we want to do something better than putting a mini cassette recorder, digital recorder, or our studio microphone next to the telephone. Uh, so how do you do this? Really easy. Uh, in the edit view here, what you want to do is go up to generate, and then you are going to go to this thing called DTMF signals. Now I'm sure if you have this program, open it up, you're looking at this and you have no clue what it is, or probably have never used it and maybe just bypassed it. Um, if you look down here, there's something that's a little familiar. Looks like the numbers on a keypad of a phone. This is exactly what this is here. Now this is generate DTMF signals. Uh, DTMF signals is dual tone multi frequency. Uh, and basically, um, it's better known as touch tone. Uh, and it's a system of signals and tones used in telecommunications, obviously, um, from voicemails to help desks to telephone banking. Uh, and what they are, they're 12 uh, signals. What you can do here, you can see here that the pause character is represented by the comma. And then you have all your corresponding numbers. So right in this area, I mean, you could use your own home phone number, but for this purposes, we're just going to do a random fictitious movie phone number. So we're going to go 1, comma, 555. You've heard that before or seen it in every single movie you've watched. And let's just say 2189. There we go. And that's it. We can preview it. 
that's it. So you go ahead and hit OK. Now, is that the sound you want exactly for or, or what I used in the last piece? No, we changed it just a, a little bit, and I can show you how to do that as well. I should put that at the beginning, and we'll just uh, solo this track. There you go. So now it's in your timeline. What you can do is you can double-click on it, put it back in this area here. Um, if you double-click on it, you can play around using the pitch bender, if you will. Um, and just winding up, here's one. Let's listen to that. <laughs> So something like that would give you kind of a unique ringtone that you can use in the beginning of any of your podcast or if you have callers calling in, you know, you, the announcer may say, you know, call us now at, and then you could play this or what have you. But this is one way to do it. Uh, another way to do it is back in your multi-track here. Uh, you can right click, go to clip time stretch properties, and in this window right here, click on enable time stretching and say let's put this down to 75 percent click OK what you will notice is it just shortened up that what was a second and a half down to about a second so now it sounds like this so it changed the pitch changed the time and so you can have a lot of fun playing with those but instead of taking your microphone up to the phone or the phone and trying to hit redial and play some play with some tones, uh, you have that option. So something real quick to show you. Thought you might uh, find that enjoyable. And let's work on a sound now. Uh, some of the accentuators that we use uh, may be a kind of a flyby sound, something that goes left to right, a swoosh or a zip or a zap. Uh, one of the other things you can do here is in the generate area, you can go to noise or tones, let's go on tones right now, and you have some presets here. You have uh, default, which is, oh yeah, that's exciting. Here's a bell, a chord, and out of control. So j that by itself, could be used as uh, some kind of insert for you if you're doing any kind of production work. Uh, but let's just play around with one. Let's take a chord here, and we're going to keep all the frequency components as is right here. We're going to turn the decibel down just a little bit. Um, I know you enjoy hearing that, but uh, let's just take this down just a tad. Um, and that looks good. That looks good. The duration, let's just do five seconds, and we'll hit OK. So there you go. There it is in all of its glory, your sound. Ready? Here it is. A nice chord. Now, what can you do with this? Well, you can do a ton of stuff with it. Uh, you've already double-clicked on it, so there it is by itself. You double-click on it. Uh, you can go into a lot of your presets that you might have. Uh, let's play around with a few real quick. Let's do a sweeping phaser. What do you have here? Um, let's see. Red pill, blue pill. There we go. That's a good one. Let's use that. And there you go. What it did just put kind of uh, rests or little space bars in between the entire thing. Um, now from here we can do uh, a little bit. Say we take this beginning here and we go to our favorites and you can do a quick fade in and say at the end, say through here, we can do a fade out. Uh, or here's one that I use a lot. Turntable losing power. You can see here the waveform starts nice and straight and then just starts to go down. You hear this used a lot in production work for radio imaging. So if we go ahead and hit OK, um, can be used now in your production work. Sounds something like this. There you go. So two quick tips on generating your own effects, uh, your effects rather, um, by using phone signals or dual tone multi-frequency uh, and using tones to create some of your own accentuators and your zips and zaps and some fun elements in your production work. If you need anything, go to www.ourvoiceoverguy.com. We'll talk to you real soon. I don't want to hurt him anymore. I don't want to
can't take away his love.